so this is my second video and um, I'm really nervous I don't know why um, but I am so I'm gonna go up to these JW's and see what kind of lies they have for me today so here we go Are y'all Jehovah's? Oh, okay. Uh, I had a friend in high school back in uh, my hometown. Is that? In, in uh, Pennsylvania. Yeah. In Pennsylvania. Oh wow. Um, was there anything just, that she ever said to you that was made you curious? Or? Um. Well, one thing was that we were never really allowed to hang out. Okay. And um, I never really understood that. Kind of hurt my feelings, like, because yeah. we really got along good at yeah. school. Yeah. Um, but she said her parents didn't want her to hang out with me, and so um, after we graduated, she decided she didn't want to be Jehovah's Witness, and then exactly. now she can't hang out with her old friends. Yeah. <laughs> so, what's that about? Is that like, is that kind of like well, a? I I'll just. In a nutshell, if you look in the scriptures, uh, a good scripture, try to teach them, kind of like your parents, right from wrong. A good scripture is 1 Corinthians 15.33, talks about association. Mm. And so just, yeah, we, we have three girls. They're, they're gone. They're three girls. Uh, but you look at, well, just like you. Uh, if, if you're around girls, guys, do you influence one another? Um, I, I don't understand how, how well, you I mean, uh, I mean, if you're saying, I mean, saying, I, mean I, I wasn't friends. into drugs or anything, no, 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 you know, no, 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 I'm not I, I consider no, no, no. myself, a, I, I was a pretty good kid. Yeah, I was good. I was good growing up. You know, I never got into any trouble when I was real little. I didn't. I got <laughs> no, and, and that's not what we mean. Uh, yeah. It's just because, um, witnesses, their, their thinking and their focus is quite it, it can be a lot different than uh, normal Christians or Sorry. other Christians. Sorry. You've got to get going. No, well, I was just making sure. Yeah. Time. And so parents want to make sure that their kids are surrounded by people who feel about things in God the same way that they do, so that they're influenced in, in a, that way. And you know, the parents didn't know you, so they didn't know. I mean, um, you know, I. It, and I can understand why it comes across as, you know, being yeah. rude and hurting your feelings. And and she's, you know, a really nice person too. Yeah. And then now now I don't understand why they would shun her. It's like she did yeah. something horrible, but she just didn't want to. It was just what not wasn't her thing, you yeah. know? Yeah. And, and yeah. That's the thing, like we got three girls and they we, we try to teach them kinda of like your parents, right from wrong. Mm -hmm. And we hope that when you're not with us you carry those principles of right and wrong with you mm -hmm. so that you make good decisions. Not that you're bad. Our kids weren't bad kids and I'm sure you're not either. But but here's what we try to get them to understand is uh, I'm not going to watch you 24-7. Mm -hmm. You're going to make mistakes but just try to make good choices. Okay? Mm -hmm. And so sometimes we get around and, and particularly with my daughters. I'd always tell them, you know, I, I trust everything you do until you get around other kids. And it didn't matter who, whether they were kids in school or kids in a congregation, uh, because you influence each other. You know, mm -hmm. If you're driving and, hey, the light's yellow, go, 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 go. And you're more inclined to go, and that's where it can cause an accident. Whereas if you were by yourself, it's, it's yellow, you stop, you use good decisions, you know? So we all influence each other. Uh, no, but, it, look, if, I mean, if you're a good person, then... Why, why would you still be against your your daughters being around somebody who's a good person but just not not in the same religion that's kind of, to me that seems kind of culty I lack a better word that's just kind of like a cult like, yeah like that's what because I mean I've studied different religions and organizations and stuff and and, um, and it sounds you know just like they isolate their members from you know and, and in the Bible Jesus you know, he, he, Talk to all uh, yeah, and he associated with, yeah. with sinners well, and whatnot. And the thing is, just like the friend that you have, uh, I would, I'm sure once she got old enough, maybe 
where she could make some of her own decisions, then she made a decision, hey, this isn't what I want. Mm -hmm. we, we try to tell our girls the same thing. Eventually, you're going to have to, e either you accept it or you're you not fair. Right. That's your choice. Mm -hmm. Okay? So you just try to give them all the information they need, and if they wanted to learn about 50 other religions, yeah, go for it. But if you want to know the truth, Okay, now you've got something to base it on. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to know... I mean, if you wanted to know the truth, wouldn't you branch out and like learn about all all sorts of... I mean, because there's well, thousands of religions. It's amazing, is. you know, thousands so, of gods. So if, if, uh, if you want to know the truth, what do you base it on? Mm -hmm. uh, evidence. Um, and where would you get the and evidence? I, the way I like to do it is research. Okay. Uh, research, uh, just not not one particular thing. Like she told me that she was not allowed to look at anything other than um, the website y'all have. I think, yeah. Um, and that kind of rang like a rose a red flag for me. I was like, that seems kind of iffy. Because if you want to buy like if you want to buy a like a Kirby, are you gonna look at just the Kirby website, or are you gonna you know like <laughs> look at reviews, even bad reviews? I always look at bad reviews first to see, oh, that's not too bad, then I'll get it. So yeah, why I'm is she that. like why, uh, so against Her talking to like former? They, they were probably very strict. strict. Was she the only child or something? Uh, I I don't remember. We did. <laughs> like I said, well, we didn't really hang out. I, I, I can bit. just tell you, uh, I want my my children now, my grandchildren. I want them uh, if, if they're curious about other religions, that, you, know, you can Google all that stuff. But if, if you're teaching one thing, what does the Bible teach? If it contradicts with what the Bible teaches, it's time to move on. If it goes along with what the Bible teaches, maybe it bears worth a little more investigating. Yeah, and, and I, I agree because I feel like the question. I feel like the shunning part contradicted what the Bible taught. You know, I, I think so. uh, that's probably where they were exercising a bit too much caution. Is so y'all don't. Y'all don't dis. What do you call it? Um, like stop talking to people who choose to leave the or who choose not to join once they grow up. Well, actually, uh, yes and no. Okay. okay. Uh, no, in that, let's just say in her case, she decided that wasn't for her and she just leaves. Mm -hmm. uh, if I saw her today, I would encourage her to come back. Uh, wish her well, and that would be that. If uh, if she was doing something contradictory to what the scriptures teach, well, then that would be a different story. Uh, well, now what do you um, what do you consider that to be? Like? Uh, just what would the Bible consider? I mean, you know, the Bible's morals. If she was living an immoral lifestyle based on just the scriptures. So, like, would you be asking her personal questions, or like, how uh, would you know? Because, well, like, I, I, I wouldn't. But now, mm -hmm. if she came to me and said, "Hey, uh, this is what I'd like to do," well, the only way I can know is to ask personal questions. Like you, you and I, mm -hmm. if you want to know something, you gotta get personal. But if we were just having a casual conversation, why would I ask such? I'd never do. I'd just say, "Hey, how's it going? How's the ball going?" You know? Yeah. Uh, but if, if uh, well, let's just say she was, she was, uh, she left it, and uh, I was walking down the street, and I saw her smoking a joint. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, that's contradictory to what the scriptures teach. Okay. And if I had the opportunity, I'd ask her about it. If I didn't, that was it. Yeah, I don't but see a whole lot of people. Had, <laughs> but if I had a chance to talk to her, I would just see where she was coming from. Uh, but it's things like that. Uh, but unless, like in her situation, unless she ever wanted to, say, come back, those would be some questions they would ask. What you did while you were gone. So, uh, so I guess so from what I understand, like, um, y'all, it's like required... Y'all know what's going on in everybody's personal life. No, I don't know. Then, uh, unless they are have found that they are, like Charlie said, their lifestyle is in con contradictory to the Bible's morals. But how would you know? I mean, well, that's what I'm saying. If I was just walking down the street and I saw her <laughs> something, yeah, of course. That's how I would. But know. they, I mean, she's shunned but, though, but, and and that's uh, well, she didn't do it, you know. 
As far as I know, I didn't ask. I didn't ask if yeah. she was doing anything wrong. Just say mm. if, so why did if she's being shunned? Mm -hmm. Then did she have done something? She didn't agree with the teachings. Well, I mean, it's got to be more than that. It's not. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna come out and tell y'all. Okay. That's me. Okay. I left. Okay. And I'm shunned. Okay. Were you so a were you, Of course. So were you disfellowshipped? And I I decided I wanted to leave. Okay. Um, I, so so you disassociated yourself. I, not officially, no. Okay. No. You just left. Then, then so you. I decided I didn't want to come, and the elders came over. They said. Uh, do you even want to be a Jehovah's Witness anymore? And I said, well, I mean, if you're, you're putting me on the spot, I said, no. Yeah. And so they told me to say the words, which was uh, kind of rude. So and so I said the words and then they went, yeah. And so, uh, you they didn't see me walking down the street, smoking yeah. a joint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and well, even my, my, um, well, I'm sorry. And uh -huh. I actually know a whole lot of people. I mean, I'm, I wasn't completely lying when I said I have a friend because I have a lot of friends. Yeah. Um, I, have a friend a who, um, yeah, I, I have a friend who, yeah, I have a friend who, you know, was disfellowship uh, after you know coming forward about having been molested. And a lot of people like that. I don't know if y'all have heard of the Australian Royal Commission in Australia. Um, they there was a they investigate different organizations, churches, and make sure that they have good uh, policies to protect their kids. And they found um, they're like over 2,000 cases of child of abuse within the congregation of Jehovah's Witnesses that were not reported to authorities. Wow. Because um, this, are you an elder? I am. Uh, yeah, the secret elder's handbook. It's yeah. out there. Now everybody knows about it. <laughs> I, I, I don't have one. <laughs> well, they're keeping it from you, but okay. it's, it's, it's out there now. Um, and there's a, a policy uh, the two witnesses. I've been about 20 years and I've been well, you're, I, I, I have seen on video um, an elders talking, you know, uh, about it, and uh, I've seen and the book it itself. Um, it's called Shepherding the Flock, okay. um, and it's in there. It talks about um, if there somebody comes forward with about a molestation, if there's not a second witness, then they leave it in Jehovah's hands. They don't ever go to the police. Well, I, I can tell you this. That's, I can, it's I, awful. I can tell you this. And, and it's on the mainstream media, too. Yeah. Like, if you look up Australian World well, Commission. I can, um, I can commission. tell you this, and, and this is what I do know. Mm -hmm. uh, that if, if someone came to me and made just the accusation, mm -hmm. I, have, I have two obligations. I'm sorry, accusation? Like? If someone came to me and said, hey, I was molested. Okay. okay. Uh, I have to do two things. First, I contact the branch, the legal department. And second, I contact the authority. Okay, so why and the branch not. first? Well, like, why is that more important than the authority? Well, like, we, if, we it daughter, if it was your daughter, if it was your daughter, when she was do, little, if she I was six years both. old, yeah. and she came up to you, so you would call the untrained Jehovah's no, Witness. Well, they they deal with it more than I do, as far as. The do you legal, know why that is? The legal, they deal well, with because them. like you say, two thousand cases, and I'm sure there's more. Oh yeah, because that was only in Australia, and and, and that was over a long and, period. And so you I'm know, sure like, there's more. They're but, but oh. they deal with the, the legal aspects, and, mm -hmm. and you, you have to look at it in two, two different aspects. Now, I, me as a father, I'd look at it once. Oh, make sure uh, it's not getting too late. I'm going to look okay. at it as to, I'm going to the individual, mm -hmm. then I'll go to the authorities. But, uh, to the we, so you would like approach it, the person that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That was my child. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was <laughs> like, even if it's someone in the congregation. Yeah. Yeah. They are under obligation. Yeah, I'm going to go to that individual uh, and and find out. But the, I, I'll how tell long you. ago has this been for you? Uh, four years. Four years. Yeah. yeah. But 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 we contact the authorities. I mean, the first thing the branch is going to tell us is is if it's a minor, then we have to visit with that child with the parents, unless they were the accused, with the parents, so that we can find out more particulars. So that when we do call the authorities, we've got all the information we can. So you don't get. put the accused in the room with Absolutely. the child, because that's happened a lot. No. But it's I can tell you that's not so direction. horrible. I mean, that's no. traumatizing for a child. That? Yeah. But I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you this. Uh, if, if you look at the scriptural aspect of it, if someone accused another person of doing that, mm -hmm. legally, it's your word against theirs. That's the way they look at it legally. It's your word against them. 
prescription is in the mouth of two witnesses. That's probably where they're coming from. Well, in any, any uh, uh, molestation, there's no witness. Exactly, Randy is, exactly. Randy is yes. No but I'll, I'll, I'll just be honest with you. Uh, particularly if it's a child, mm -hmm. I know who I'm going to believe. But that doesn't mean anything. Mm -hmm. Legally. And well, I think the, the most important issues, thing is but the, you gotta let the, the parents, child know. you know, believing in the child and then going to the authorities and doing everything yeah. they can yeah. possible. Were your parents both yeah. witnesses? Uh, no, no, they weren't. Okay. They weren't? <laughs> Not really. I mean, my mom studied on and off. Yeah. How did you um, I, I joined when I was 18 and I pioneered and everything. Okay. And then um, I, okay, it was, I had kids and then I saw the first Sophia and the Caleb and Sophia video. And it horrified me. Honestly, it horrified me. I can't, really? <laughs> I can't tell my kid, you know, that uh, this toy that your friend gave you, you know, is going to make Satan happy if you don't throw it in the trash, you know. Right. And it, it was horrifying, and, and I, I watched it many, many times, and and the doubts just kept growing, and I was like, you know, this is, this isn't right. And so when I decided to stop. I started doing more research, and and that's when it, it was like a and whole world you opened your up. All over the internet, I talked to many ex members, yeah. um, and I know what y'all are thinking. You're thinking, well, disgruntled ex employees, <laughs> but honestly, yeah, there's, some truth there's <laughs> boy, of course, some people are mad because they've they've been shunned by their loved ones. They some people, many have committed suicide. Uh, many, I mean, it you is choose a to teaching to do that, though, you know, and and so you're choosing this fairy tale over your real life flesh and blood and it's just for you know it's 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 I'm really glad I got out when my kids were young and um, it's just it really hurts to see a lot of people in pain with their their shunning you know I'm, I'm lucky I don't uh, that there has been misconduct mm -hmm. in situation he's aware of it and he wants it to be remedied he wants it to be what remedied oh yes to be changed. Right, which is why I think there's a lot of change starting to happen or starting to be pushed for the watchtower. Uh, for example, in Russia, I know y'all are banned yeah. there. Um, and so, um, you know, they, it's starting to bring light to the situation and, and more people are starting to open their eyes about the, you know, the watchtower corruption. And, and, and y'all are, you all seem like really nice people, you know, and I was a nice person yeah, too, yeah, but there was a lot of things I didn't know about it. And so, and now it, it's my mission and, and uh, I have thousands of uh, friends, particularly on, on in groups like in Facebook who are dedicated to exposing the lies of the Watchtower and kind of spreading the word to prevent families from being broken up by this, um, by this organization. But so. can I ask you something, do you think, you think the Watchtower is trying to hide things? Oh, they hide so many things. You didn't know about the Elder's Handbook. That's... Well, you, you said the shepherding book. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have the book. The shepherding the flock, yeah. But I'll just tell you, every 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 word in that book is in the Watchtower. It's just hmm. different uh, articles. Well, oh, yeah. Different I, I've, I've seen some of the... Taken from the Watchtower or in the way, but it's just put in the book where it's easier for us to find so that we can deal with whatever issue comes at hand. I mean, mm -hmm. lawyers have different books. Okay. Go back, uh, yeah. On, on different cases, uh, I don't know what you're studying, but I'm sure they've got specific books dedicated to help mm -hmm. you learn about that specific. Which topic. brings me to a, another question. Um, I mean, how do you know? Like when I was in, I, I believed that it, you were we were teaching 100 percent from the Bible. But yeah, there's I'm things like the the whole the shunning thing, the well, the shunning okay. thing. Um, even the, the, I don't want to get into a bunch of whole, uh, a whole bunch of stuff, but like the, the blood doctrine, I mean, that's, didn't say anything about transfusions. And then like, um, when you get a chance, uh, just, just, uh, just dealing with, uh, the disfellowship. Mm -hmm. uh, first Corinthians 5, 11. Oh yeah, I know that one. 6, 6, 11. I know that one really well. Of course, it's a little bit more drastic dealing with people that are murdered. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It doesn't say anything about like exercising your free will. You know, it doesn't say anything well, I mean, about that. So. Well, and that shouldn't be. You made a dedication. You promised that you were going to So, but that I didn't promise that, um, or my family didn't sign a contract saying I promise to 
treat you like you're dead if you change your mind about this religion and don't want to be in the same religion as me, you know? So that's what I... I like How your name? Uh, Stacy. Stacy? Yes. I'm Charlie. Nice to okay, meet you. Uh, let me just tell you this, Stacy. Uh, there's, there's, a, there's a big difference. And I think this is where we need to come, come to an agreement because there's a difference if you just, if you were my child and you just wanted to walk away. Mm -hmm. The way I think about you, the way I view you, the way I love you, everything about you and I changes a little simply because you walk away. Okay? But it takes on a different line when you walk away and then you start talking about the religion that I have. Mm -hmm. Now you're, you're on the verge of apostasy, to be honest. Oh, yeah, no, I'm a proud, okay. loud apostate. Yeah. Okay. Prost so, so it, in defense of your parents, maybe that's where they're coming from. Uh, n n no, and it's not my parents. It's uh, a lot of my friends' parents. Um, that's that's that. I mean, I don't I don't understand how y'all don't understand how awful that is. Like you're choosing me, this you're choosing this faith, uh, a faith over your flesh and blood, I, I a, a hope you. that you just hope that it's true. You don't know it's true. You hope it is, but you have your real life kids, and you're willing to treat them like they're dead. And then what if you die, and then you know nothing happens. Like, and then your your kid, it just knows that you didn't well, you didn't love them enough I, to choose a relationship I, with them. I agree with you to the extent that it does seem uh, unfair mm -hmm. for a parent to disown their child. I agree with you. Uh, it's inhumane. Yes. Yeah. I, I yes. agree with you. Uh, but if I have faith in God in Jehovah, you know, you look at Abraham when he was going up the mountain. To, Offer his son as a sacrifice. I mean, what kind of faith? Oh, I kind could, of. I could never do what that. What kind of mental illness? Okay. But, but I'm, I'm just looking at I, just what the scripture says. So, what, what is faith to you, though? Like, what I mean, what is faith to you that it's so important you would you would die for it, you would kill for it, you you know would give up your kids it, for, it, it. for it? But Abraham was about to kill for it. He was. Yeah. So, what is but, that but to you? What does really, that mean? Was, what does that even mean? This kind of faith thing. But he had faith in God that God had promised that lineage would come through him. He had faith in the resurrection and if he did have to do this to sacrifice his son, then, okay, God's promised this, it's coming through me, here's my only son, God's going to do something. That's how See, that, that scares me because people nowadays who do for. that get into straight jackets in the mental institutes. Because yeah. what was, did y'all hear, uh, there was a, a, but, but, a woman but, who drove her kids off the cliff yeah. Yeah. because she was hearing voices that told her to do it. I mean, that's the exact same thing, you thing. know? At that time, that's how Jehovah operates. He doesn't need that. But now. I thought he, he didn't change. The Bible says God does not change. Well, but, so. but his methods of, of, of teaching us did, because now we have the Bible. We don't need miracles and things like that. We don't have So miracles. he does change. No, he, he didn't change. change. And, and, and Abraham didn't kill his son. Well, uh, that's that, but that's but after was, the fact. It, he was going to. The whole point is that he was going to. It showed that his reliance and his trust in God was strong, was so strong that he would do anything. And Jehovah would never, never wanted him to kill his son. But he was. It was an opportunity for him to show his devotion to the Creator. And I mean, maybe an it. animal, maybe your favorite pet, but not your son. <laughs> I don't know. I've seen some that wouldn't do that to their pet. Yeah, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't want to do it to my pet either, but I mean, but do you, you know. There were many um, cultures in those ancient times that did sacrifice their children but, to their false gods. So how do you distinguish the false god from, from the real god, though? Like, even back then, like, yeah, how do you know? Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm sorry, I have a billion questions. But, but, but yeah, look, like, how, how do you... Look how Jehovah uh, directed his people. And as long as his people listened and... But how do you know y'all were the people? The Jehovah's Witnesses weren't even around back then yeah. until the late 1800s. Uh -huh. yeah. You know, and it was... This is an American... Book company. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but, but, but here's I mean, the thing. I, I agree. Okay, you look at just like say, let's just look at the last hundred years of Jehovah's Witnesses as an organization. Okay. okay. And you can compare it to Baptist, Catholic, Protestant, denominational, whatever religion you want. Let's just compare. It. Okay. okay. So you look at the last mm -hmm. hundred years. Uh, let's just say. 
What's the most popular religion? Um, I think Buddhism. Buddhism? Okay. I would, I would say Catholic, but for Baptists, I'm that, not sure. Christian. Some of the things they've experienced, not just with the, with the sex offenses, but just the monetary aspect of their religion, from wars, to politics. And you look at what the scriptures and how Jesus led his life when it came to wars and politics. He, he was not involved in those things. Mm -hmm. Okay, witness, Jehovah's Witnesses are not involved in any of those things. Now, could we? Yeah. But you don't think there's any other religions that aren't involved in those things? Well, name one that is. One that is involved? Name one that isn't. That isn't? Involved in wars and oh. politics. I don't, I don't know. See, do research. <laughs> uh, I'm sure. But I, so is that the only, like, no, is that? Uh, but, okay, look at the last hundred years. Uh, okay, if, if it did not have God's body. How could it be here a hundred years from now without more financial support? Hmm. We don't hit you up for money. You don't see us uh, politicking for money. I mean, the government body is pretty rich. Well, but but so. you don't see, as an organization, you do not see Jehovah's Witnesses petitioning anyone. You never saw that in a congregation. Uh, there were times when they, they made us like make pledges, you know, that. Yeah, yeah but I mean. Here's that was voluntary. You, you, can, you can, you can, you can, you can. I mean, it's not, it's it's not too good. I mean, you're guilted into it. No, but no, you didn't no, have no, to. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, I just still, I, I feel like those two topics that you, you just mentioned are still just not enough to make me think that, you're, you know, that you're God's people. Uh, and but, especially with, like, with the Bible, but like, when you Jesus, were studying, did you feel like it was the wrong religion? Oh, hundred percent. I, I was extremely into. I was. Did you not cover all? A hundred percent. At that time. Yeah, so, I did, but I, I had, I was, I was influenced by, I had cognitive dissonance. You know what that is, right? No. Just where it's like a, this discomfort feeling if you hear here or find out something that's contrary to what you've always believed in, and and I did have that, like. If something kind of made me doubt because they said like any the doubts are like the ocean and you know that kind of and so anytime I had doubts I, I if you don't if you don't know the answer to something what would you do research there you go of that's course all, I mean I think that's all you know if I was talking to a complete stranger I'm going to tell them hey here, here's here's what I believe mm -hmm. but I'm asking you don't believe me test it out mm -hmm. now what would you test it out with um, I guess that if, if just, I was teaching you, well, the Bible doesn't, uh, the Bible teaches uh, shunning or disfellowship. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want you to believe me. I'd want you to test it out. Find out, do research. Oh, I've done research on that, and that's why I'm, do, I don't, I'm do, not in agreement with it. Do scriptural research. What does the Bible say? The Bible. It doesn't say anywhere in the Bible to shun your relatives who, you know, exercise their free will. Well, <laughs> and it doesn't, it doesn't, there's a lot of things you get to fellowship for that the Bible doesn't say, you know, in there. The um, can't go by, I mean, you look at where we are in the stream of time, where the, the, the last, century, the last, the last part of the last, yeah, part, the last part. Century, so there's a lot that goes on now that wasn't going on then, that, you know, the Bible just can't put every specific little thing. I mean, so that's when the watchtower comes in and adds stuff. Yeah, no. Well, I mean, it goes back, it goes I mean, y'all have new light, right? I mean, it changes all the time. I agree with you on that. But I mean, I'm smart. I mean, even if science I don't know changes something, their mind. Oh, all the time, of course. That, that, in science, that's that's what makes it amazing. It's just constantly changing. And whenever it finds out, some, or whenever we learn something new, and uh, religions is completely the opposite. You know, it's just. Um, okay. Well, my phone ran out of memory before I was done talking to them, but um, I ended it pretty quickly after that, and we ended it on a good note, you know, I shook their hand and said thank you, but uh, overall it was pretty annoying, he, you know, he's an elder, apparently he's been an elder for 20 years, and he had that very self-righteous, I'm better than you, um, attitude about him, and um, I don't really feel like anything good came out of that conversation other than, you know, the video and, um, you know, his, his wife was pretty, uh, what's the word? Um, I don't know, annoying, you know, the way she looked when she asked me, well, where did you do your research? It was thoroughly irritating. <laughs> um, 
but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see tomorrow um, if there's going to be somebody new. Hopefully, there'll be different people there, and I'll try and do another video. And um, maybe I won't be all over the place. I said a lot of weird, silly things in this video, like a prostrate. I think I said that. So, but anyways, hope y'all enjoyed it.